In 2021, the UNFPA UNICEF Joint Programme on the Elimination of Female Genital Mutilation, Accelerating Change, made commendable progress towards sustaining the momentum for eliminating FGM at all levels, despite the continuous challenges experienced globally due to the COVID-19 pandemic and other ongoing conflicts and humanitarian crises. The joint program recorded achievements primarily in four outcome areas. In outcome one, countries have an enabling environment for the elimination of FGM practices at all levels and in line with human rights standards. In 2021, the joint program continued to strengthen legislation enforcement through national coordination. Of the 17 countries where the joint program is being implemented, 14 have legislations that criminalize FGM. In 2021, the joint program recorded 206 arrests, 215 court cases, and 135 convictions and sanctions. Inclusive national planning involving intersectorial coordination across government ministries is critical in promoting comprehensive approaches to eliminating FGM. In 2021, 14 countries have evidence-based costed national action plans to end FGM under implementation by all government sectors, CSOs, faith-based organizations and other sectors. Outcome 2. Girls and women are empowered to exercise and express their rights by transforming social and gender norms in communities to eliminate FGM. In 2021, 4,475 communities involving 3,460,101 people made public declarations to abandon FGM. The cumulative number of public declarations since 2008, when the joint program was launched, is 34,659 public declarations involving 45.9 million people. Part of the strategy of the joint program in its community mobilization efforts is working with local level activists towards the elimination of FGM by providing them direct action media grants to amplify their work and widen their reach and impact. So far, a total of 435 campaigners and activists received grants for their work in Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, Nigeria, Mali, Guinea and Gambia. In 2021, 3,813 community-level surveillance systems were established in countries where the joint program is being implemented. More than 80% of communities established surveillance structures after publicly declaring the elimination of FGM. Since the launch of Phase 3, the joint program has exceeded targets related to the use of social media. Social media has been used as the most effective method during the pandemic to mobilize people and provide online civic engagement opportunities, support the elimination of FGM and to provide critical information about sexual and reproductive health rights, access to services. With the emphasis on positive masculinities, the joint program strategically worked to enhance the active engagement of men and boys in FGM advocacy. Since 2018, the joint program has exceeded the target number of intervention areas where the men and boys network or coalition actively advocates for FGM elimination. Within the Phase 3 timeframe, the joint program has exceeded the target for the number of communities that provide capacity development packages such as life skills programs, including comprehensive sexuality education. Such strategies have been attributed to the joint program's emphasis on gender transformative approaches, including strengthening girls' agency and empowerment. Along with the Joint Programme's Comprehensive Implementation Strategies, 578,611 girls have been saved from undergoing FGM since the launch of Phase 3. Outcome 3. Girls and women receive appropriate, quality 
and systemic services for FGM prevention, protection and care. The number of girls and women who received FGM health, social and legal service has been steadily increasing despite the COVID-19 disruptions. This positive trend indicates improvements in FGM service accessibility and overall quality. Despite the implementation barriers during the pandemic, the joint program has exceeded the target number of health service delivery points where at least one healthcare staff member is trained on FGM prevention, protection and care services. Outcome 4. Countries have better capacity to generate and use evidence and data for policy making and improving programming. In 2021, all countries where the joint program is being implemented utilize data and evidence to improve policies and programs targeting FGM elimination. In 2021, the joint program launched an evidence synthesis on FGM that conveys key findings on the quality and strength of existing evidence on FGM interventions, which led to a development of a five-year research agenda that outlines evidence gaps, research priorities, and approaches to enable uptake and effective use of the evidence generated. An example is the cross-border study in East Africa that is currently used to inform an inter-ministerial cross-border policy on cross-border FGM. In 2021, the joint program had several achievements through the Spotlight Initiative. The African Union Commission, AUC, developed the African Union Harmful Practices Accountability Framework that member states have endorsed for implementation, the African Union Female Genital Mutilation Report and the Female Genital Mutilation Scorecard. The FGM Innovation Hack Lab project was launched to stimulate the emergence of innovative solutions to eliminate FGM from communities and young people across Africa. Through the Community of Practice Building Bridges program, the International Stakeholders Dialogue and online talks were conducted, engaging grassroots organizations, communities and media professionals, especially in West Africa, to address and amplify the social and gender norms transformation to end FGM. The I Belong To Me book was published for children, pre-adolescents and parents to generate conversations in households on African culture and harmful practices. This Global Youth Consortium Against FGM was launched with 700 young people aged 17 to 40 from more than 45 countries. Other initiatives implemented by youth movements included behavioural change communication, messaging to end FGM. Online and offline petition campaigns across the African continent. The UNFPA UNICEF Joint Programme on the Elimination of Female Genital Mutilation, Delivering the Global Promise, has developed the programme document for Phase 4 for 2022 to 2030. Phase 4 includes the following high five key components promoting girls' agency, expanding and intensifying the global influence, building movement, financing with a diversified funding mechanisms, and engaging women-led organizations. I would like to call on the donors to double their support in ensuring the next generation of girls have their bodily autonomy maintained, their rights protected and preserved from all the complications of FGM. Let us invest in protecting girls from harmful practices. Le cadre institutionnel et juridique des droits de la femme qui est mis en place confirme la volonté de Djibouti de mettre fin aux mutilations génitales féminines. There is less than a decade left to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 5, Target 3. We need to intensify our efforts to transform and shift action to respond to emerging trends of FGM through expanding and diversifying the investments in this area. Join us. Invest. Don't rest. <laughs>